Howdy y'all, got the Bulldog on the channel. Uh, last week it was 10 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. Uh, this week it's 60 degrees. And we got a swamp. I had four foot of snow last week. Yeah, not in one place. <laughs> I didn't get any snow at my place, we got snow. You know, 30 miles to the, to the west, we just ended up with theirs. But what we got right now is a Toyota Avalon and these half shafts right here are shot. Now this one is the good one. It clicks back and forth a little bit. But here is what really has me worried. Underneath this vibration dampener, they like to rust out. Now since the inner joint it's got a click in it. Decided we're gonna go ahead and change that as a precautionary measure because this one right here is shot, shot bad. Let's see if I can rotate it. There, you see it moving up and down. What we got is it's got three three joints in there, tripod type looking thing. And each one of them has got a ring on the end of it. And one of them is blown apart. So we finally got parts here after a day or so. I'm going to start ripping on this and take you along for the ride. Okay, these are pretty simple because you see the ball joint is bolted to the lower control arm over here. That means you can just zip the bolts out. You don't have to worry about popping the uh, taper right there. First, big nut, pull it out. These just pushed out. You don't have to press them or hammer them. This part is usually pretty easy. See if I can get in here and still film it. like that okay this other side's a bit trickier because it has a shaft that goes clear across the car and it has a carrier bearing in it right there now you see that squeeze clip right there on that carrier bearing you peel that down and then you should be able to grab this shaft and just pull it out as long as that bearing's not stuck in there. We run into that on occasion. I have these wide mouth pliers for hose clamps. I'm gonna use these to see if I can grab that. They got teeth on them. Just, my pliers will just slip off. Oh. I'm going to have to use a air hammer. Uh. 
It did move. Might have to take it out and heat it. Okay, this joint popped off, the, the boot popped off here, so taking an opportunity to show you what I mean by these things. They have bearings inside of this, and that is why it is coming apart. The bearings are all gone in between these. It has bearings so that this rotate on here, and then these slide in and out along this trough right here. This is the left side, which popped apart easily. Of course, the right side. There's just this bearing in here, and the bearing is stuck in that deal. I'm gonna, I've got a fork that goes behind this that I can put on a slide hammer. I'll try that. Okay, I got the bracket off the side of the motor here. I'm gonna take a, a wire brush and clean this all out in, inside here. You see, this is what it is. It wasn't stuck real bad, but it bad enough that it just gave me fits. Now we're gonna clean this all up so it slides together nice and easy. And I'm gonna reinstall everything. You need to put this on first. Got some alignment dowels on the back side here that make it rather difficult to take off. And the bolts are behind the shaft. It, import most of the time. Their bolts are, I think they're zinc coated and for, you know, resistance to corrosion. They're wicked tight. They kind of snap loose and then so at least when you do get them loose, they're usually not rusted too bad. Okay. Axles are back in, everything's back together. It goes together really fast whenever things are, you know, working right. See, there it is, clips in place. That thing, when they come apart okay, those things are really handy. Some of them have a C-clip in them at that jack point and you just pop them out. This one had that squeeze clamp, whichever way it is, unless they're rusted, they're really easy. So we're going, I'm going to torque these wheels up. Customer has called a couple times. <sighs> Boss was saying, why is it that the phone always rings when the hour is darkest? You know, we were having trouble. We hadn't gotten the axle out yet. And, you know, how long do you think it'll be? I don't know. Well, of course, 20 minutes later, everything had changed because I'd gotten the thing out, got it apart. And then her dad called uh 10 minutes after that do you think it'll be today yeah yeah it'll no problem because <laughs> at that point i had it apart and all i had to do is put it back together and it just whoosh, whoosh, back together so all right we're gonna get this thing on the ground and test drive okay they just came picked it up test drive went well of course we changed the oil while it was in here uh looked it all over there was one little leak up there in the engine compartment that i fixed we didn't charge them for uh I just seen a lot of oil coming down around on the side there and I uh, looked and of course yeah that's what it was the power steering reservoir it wasn't even leaking enough to be low but there was oil everywhere maybe they've added to it but uh and then little squeeze clamps wasn't squeezing anymore took it off and actually I scooted it back up the line just put a worm clamp on it tightened it up so you know simple things like that but uh everything else looked good on it so uh, customers happy. Like, comment, subscribe, hit your little bell notification, share it all around. We'll talk to you later.